Some websites allow other webmasters or authors to write content for them and they will give a link in return. Websites that accept posts from others typically have a page on their website that specify what they look for in a guest post. These pages can be found using Google. Guest posts can help you land extremely powerful niche relevant links that pack a lot of power. These links are so powerful that just a handful of these links can help a page break into the top 10 of Google. So why do sites invite others to write content for them? There are quite a few reasons. One, they will be getting very high quality content for free. High quality content can be expensive and by offering guest posting opportunities to other webmasters and authors, these webmasters are getting the content without having to spend any money. Another reason is webmasters who post guest posts also share these posts with their social media audience. They post about their guest posts on Facebook, tweet them and so on. So by accepting guest posts they are getting free content and free publicity as well. If your guest post gets accepted by a website you get a backlink to your site. If the website that accepted your article happens to be very relevant to your niche, the link can be very, very valuable. A link from a very relevant site matters a lot when it comes to ranking in Google. In this video, we will see how you can find guest posting opportunities. To find such opportunities, we can look for common footprints like write for us, contribute to, we accept guest posts and so on. For instance, to find guest posting opportunities related to mattresses, we can do a Google search for mattress plus write for us or mattress plus we accept guest posts and so on. In addition, you can also use LSI words related to mattresses like sleep, insomnia, bed and so on. But that's not all. You could also look for home decor, furniture and related sites that accept guest posts. Dropmylink.com is a site that makes it very easy to do these searches. You need to sign up for an account with them. Once you are logged in, enter your keyword and choose guest posts for the category and choose one of the several footprints from the drop down menu and click search. Now not every result is a site looking for guest posts. There are usually several internet marketing blog posts talking about guest posts that come up as well. So you will have to manually look at each result and see whether or not it is a site accepting guest posts. And of the sites looking for guest posts that show up in the results, some may not be relevant to the niche. For instance, this is not a site related to mattresses, but they are looking for guest posts. That doesn't mean it's out of bounds. If you can somehow connect your niche with traveling in a way that makes sense and write a high quality guest post, your article might have a chance of getting accepted. Sites that accept guest posts usually specify what they are looking for in such an article. You will want to closely read their guidelines and get to know what exactly they are looking for in such an article. And you will want to record every such opportunity in a spreadsheet. This could be the format of the spreadsheet to record all of the information about each guest posting opportunity you find. You will want to record at least 10 opportunities before you contact any of the webmasters. And for each of the footprints here, you will want to search at least the first 10 pages of results. You never know where a gem of an opportunity might be hiding. So you will want to go till the 10th page at least before you move to the next footprint. 
Let me do a search for sites related to sleep that are looking for guesspos. Here's one. I will record the URL of the home page. URL of the page with the posting guidelines. the date and the status. Let me pause the video while I record a few more of these here. I now have this list of 10 sites that accept guest posts. Not all of them are related to mattresses or to sleep, but it's not really hard to connect the theme of these websites with sleep in some way. For instance, if you are considering writing a guest post for a home design site, you could write about bedroom design and have a few sentences about mattresses in the article. Also, clicking on the search results might not take you directly to the guest posting guidelines page. You might have to do some looking around on the site to find the guidelines page. Like on this page, you would need to scroll down or do a search for something like writer or guest to find the link to the guidelines page. Now that we have a few sites here, we would want to find the domain authority of each site. Higher the domain authority of the site, more valuable a link from it will be. You can use a bulk PADA checker to find the domain authority of several sites at once. To do that, just search for bulk PADA checker on Google. Let's use this one. To find the domain authority of all of these sites at once, all I need to do is copy them, paste it here, Enter the CAPTCHA. Here are the results. This is the domain authority column. As far as possible, you would want to post only to sites with a domain authority greater than 20. You would not want to post to sites with a very low domain authority. That said, Getting accepted by a site with a domain authority more than 50 is not always easy. Let me update the domain authority column in the spreadsheet. I will sort this in descending order of domain authority.